Hi, and welcome to Cat Room Figures. My name is Caitlin, and today we will be talking about DC Young Animals Shade the Changing Girl. Um, basically, uh, Shade the Changing Girl is another one of DC Young Animals flagship titles, along with Do Doom Patrol and uh, Cave Carson has a cybernetic eye and the upcoming Mother Panic. Um, okay, so to start out, we are introduced to Megan, who is your quintessential mean girl in high school. Um, she is popular and ruthless. She has a burn book and she is not afraid to use it. She basically rules the school, rules her family, rules her friends, and nobody really likes her. She, uh, everyone's kind of afraid of her, and she's just vicious as can be. Well, she's in an accident, and it puts her in a coma for five months. She was brain damaged from, uh, we later find out in the book. She takes a bunch of pills, and she goes skinny dipping with some friends, and, um, she ends up in the hospital for five months. And she wakes up come to find out she wakes up because her body has been inhabited by an alien and this alien creature is attempting to take over her form take over her life and to uh, just figure out how to live as a human and her family and her friends aren't exactly excited that Megan is awake uh, her parents bring her home and they're setting up the dinner table and they're discussing whether or not they're even excited that she's awake. Um, they're saying that they're not going to allow her to push her, to push them around anymore, that she could be different. The doctor said so because there's brain damage. Um, her, uh, friends on the swim, her friends on the swim team uh, are talking about how they're not gonna, they're not going to just allow her to go back to school, are they? And one of the girls is complaining because this means that she might have to give up her spot. Uh, and a boy is there, and the girls are basically telling him that he can't just run off to go see her. And he, we find out, was her boyfriend, and he's now dating one of her friends. Um... Those friends don't seem like they're very nice people either, but, you know, what do I know? Um, so basically the alien takes over and the art gets really trippy. She's, uh, releasing all these psychedelic colors from her mouth. She's seeing all of these just crazy figures. Um, she starts to cut up all of her hair and, um, we just, we don't know 100% where it's gonna go. See, like, she's just expelling that from her mouth. And she said, cut off all her hair. So she had really, really long hair. And then she cut off. She cut it up. And, um, just, it's everyone talking about her, and it's just craziness. And then the words are just melting in to the colors. And I'm not sure if this is her dealing with the fact that she was on a drug trip when she had her issue or whatever, but we also go through the last few minutes of her consciousness when Megan uh, was in the incident. And you hear her friends talking like, should we get her out of there? Um, you know, that whatever, how many pills she took, how many, how many pills she took, um, you know, how could you say no to her, you know who she is, how she is, should we call 911, and one of them says no, let the bitch drown. That's, that's a pretty rough thing to hear when you're going in and out of consciousness and you may or may not die. 
for your friend, for you to hear your friend's voice say, no, let the bitch drown. Um, I gotta tell ya, Megan seems like a horrible person, but everyone in this book seems like they're a horrible person. Um, as far as first issues go, um, I feel like there was just enough meat for me to want to continue on, but I'm really hoping to see more explained in the second issue. Uh, I'm still really confused as to what exactly is going on, what exactly is the purpose of this book. Um, I really liked the art, but it was really trippy too. I don't, I don't really know where it's going moving forward. Um, I don't know whether or not I can really recommend this to anyone yet, but I'm definitely going to give it a couple more issues to see where it goes from here. Um, yeah, I would say that, I would say it was okay. It was an okay first issue. Uh, it definitely needs a stronger second issue if they want me to continue with the title. Um, yeah. So, this is, uh, this is Cat Run Figures, and I'm your host, Caitlin. And until next time, please remember, if you liked this video, to please like. Uh, please remember, if you want more, uh, more comic book content like this, please subscribe. Uh, I have more comic book reviews coming, uh, coming up later. I have some statue reviews coming in the works and, uh, tomorrow is new comic book Wednesday. So again, I will have another poll video for you and I will again tell you what I liked and so on from that week. Um, and until next time, this is Catherine Figures and I'm your host, Caitlin. Bye.